What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're back with another PSA submission return video. Uh, it seems like PSA is getting through their backlog a lot quicker now. Um, obviously the backlog is still pretty big, but at least for me, I'm starting to get uh, more submissions back. It seems every week, every couple weeks. So I know, you know, on top of this one, I have at least two others that are on their way back, which of course I'll have those um, shown off in videos for you guys. So if you guys do like these PSA uh, reveal videos, I guess. Just uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. That'd be very, very greatly appreciated. And that no that lets me know that you know you guys like this sort of stuff. So, um, with that being said, we'll just get right into it since this is kind of a bigger order. As you can see from the top, this actually is all basketball. So this was a little bit of 2019, 2020 chronicles. So John Morant's year, um, Zion Williamson's rookie year. Those those guys, and then. Um, some of the more mediocre rookies, I guess, now. Some of them have gone down in value. Obviously, Chronicles hasn't held its value as much as I would have liked, but it is what it is. That's what happens when, you know, submissions are taking over a year. So, with that being said, um, again, I'll always put the uh, data here for the submission up there. So, this was a 66-card order, um, and I submitted this at the $15 per card rate, which was the ultra ultra modern uh, bulk rate at the time so fifteen dollars a card not too bad not too much into these which is nice obviously because again stuff has kind of fallen just like with every other sport and all the other PSA graded stuff um, except for the super rare stuff uh, as far as turnaround time this one was right in that threshold again of you know between a year and 14 months basically this one came in at 13 and a half months from door to door um, so yeah it's a long time to wait but it is nice once you finally get these cards back, so I'm glad to have these back, obviously. And then as far as the PSA 10 rate, I was actually pretty surprised with this one. Um, for those of you that open Chronicles, obviously a lot of these are paper cards. With paper cards, you know, I'm not necessarily expecting to do that well, but uh, as far as this order goes, out of 66 cards, I got 50 PSA 10s, which is right around a 75-76% uh, gem mint rate, which is great. That's, it. That's always what I shoot for, kind of that 70 to 80 range. Uh, with paper cards, you know, it can be a lot worse. It can be a little better. You never really know. So, um, but did really well on this. There's a, definitely a few uh, cards that are definitely like pretty high valued. I would say over 100, maybe even 150 bucks in here. Uh, obviously, a lot of the mid end stuff and then some lower end stuff too. Again, this stuff has dropped in value a little bit, which, you know, that's just going to happen. So, uh, let's get into the submission. I'll show you guys everything that we have here. And of course, I'll put a couple of my favorite cards in the back. Um, you guys can always also see in the back my eBay and Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, tmn underscore sports underscore cards. Um, and then you can also check out my eBay store where you will see a lot of these cards. So let's get it started here with some of the vets from this set. Here's the uh, LeBron James. This is the playbook. Just the base. That one got a PSA 10. Next up, these are kind of stuck together for some reason. Here's the uh, LeBron James. This is just the Panini base. That one also got a 10. Doing well on LeBron so far. Next up is the Prestige rookie, or not rookie card, sorry, base card. This one got a nine. So first nine of the submission there, but I also sent in another one. Let's see if I can get these apart. And this one. Got a 10, so went one for two on the uh, LeBron Prestiges. Not too bad there. And next up we have more LeBron. This is the Threads. And this is actually the Teal Parallel. So these came out of the Mega Boxes. You see the Teal Foil up there in the top right. This one got a 10. These are a little bit more rare. Not super duper rare, not, not worth a ton more than just the base, but um, still nice, especially on these Chrome cards. That teal background is awesome. So here's the uh, essentials in the PSA 10 for LeBron. Very, very nice there. Having a great year, of course. Uh, then we have some Luca. This is some second year Luca. Obviously, 2018 was his rookie year, so 2019, second year. Here's his playbook. And then nine. These are really tough grades, just in general, with those uh, gray borders, paper stock, all that stuff. So I'm going to get a nine. Next up, we have his Luminance. We have two of those, and those both got PSA 10s. Two nice ones there. Luminance has great photography. Love that set. 
Next up, we have Luca Threads. And that one got a 10, just one of those. Very nice, again, just the base, not the teal or anything like that. Next up, we have Luca again, more Luca. We have some of his essentials. If I can get these broken apart from each other, there we go. There's three of his essentials, PSA 10s, super shiny cards, really nice there. Those are pretty cool. Always a fan of the Chrome cards. The Chrome cards seem to sell a little bit better than the, just the base too, which makes sense. People like the shiny stuff. I'm not sure why these are so stuck together. I've never had PSA cards that stick together that much like that, but here's the uh, same Essentials cards, but this is actually the Teal Parallel, which looks, again, awesome with that chrome background. This is one of my favorites from the order for sure. Just because Luca's second year, uh, the teal looks really cool, pretty shiny. So we'll put one of those in the back. Went two for two on those, Got both got tens. And then lastly here for Luca, we have his Panini card. And this is the teal parallel again. You can kind of barely see the foil down there. But it is the teal parallel from the Mega Boxes. That one got a nine. And then I did send in one Giannis. This is the Crusade. One of my favorite um, of the Chronicles sets, I guess, is the Crusade. It's just a really cool background, especially the silver parallels and the teals. But this one got a 10, just a base Giannis. Uh, next up, we'll get into some rookies here. Start off with RJ Barrett. Looks like we have two of his Essentials rookie cards. So he's definitely one that has dropped a little bit in price. He was definitely one of the uh, bigger rookies at the time when I sent these, but kind of falling off a little bit. So hopefully you can turn it back on. Went two for two in PSA 10s on his essentials. Take that. Here's the Flux rookie card of RJ Baird. Of course, they made uh, Flux its own set this year, which was pretty interesting to see. But um, back then, I, I remember pulling these cards and thinking these look pretty cool. This is, this is just the base. The yellow is is the base design. Uh, another RJ Barrett, this one is the teal luminance. Again, great photography. See the teal foil up there. Now we got a PSA 10. Then there's some Rui Hachimura. Looks like just one of him. Luckily, because his stuff has fallen off the face of the earth. Here's the, his flux in a 10. Then a little bit of Cam Reddish next. Let's see, one, two, three of his essentials. You can see I sent in a lot of essentials. Um, I tried to grade, you know, mostly the chrome stuff just because it's a little bit easier and people like the shiny stuff. But um, also I figured the, uh, the paper stuff, you know, if I looked over it closely enough, got a lot of tens, it might be harder to grade. So that was kind of my thought process with this order here. But there's three Cam Reddish and tens. Here's another Cam Reddish. This is the Threads. And this is the Pink Parallel. I believe these came, pinks were out of Blasters, I believe. So you can see the pink foil top right again. Rookie card, PSA 10. It's not too bad. Here's one of my uh, uh, favorites, I guess, in the order, just in terms of the card type. So the Hometown Heroes was one of my favorite insert sets. And then, of course, the Silver Prism looks really cool. Unfortunately, it is Cam Reddish, so... This card doesn't hold, you know, too, too much value, but I thought this was pretty cool, especially in a, in a 10 there. Then here's a one Eric Pascal card that kind of slipped in. I think when I sent this, I thought it was the teal parallel because of this edge. Um, but yeah, I was wrong. These are just the base. So that one got a 10 though. That one definitely does not have much value. Getting into some of the better rookies here. We got Tyler Hero. He sent in three of his luminance, and all three got PSA 10s, which is awesome to see. He's having a great year so far, hoping he can keep it up. Then we also sent in, let's see, one of his just base panini. That one got a 10. And these are pretty tough, again, because they're all paper stock. A lot of them have uh, colored borders. See here, there's red up at the top, red at the bottom. Um, this one got a nine. This is the Prestige Rookie. So I was really, really pleased overall. Just, you know, 75, 76% uh, 
on paper stock cards is, is really awesome. Next up, we have his Essentials in a PSA 10. Seen that one a few times. Here's his Recon in a PSA 10. Another uh, set Panini made its own individual set this year. Then we have his Marquee, here's the nine. And you may have already saw it, but here's the 10. So Tyler Hero Marquee PSA 10. Again, these aren't too, too valuable, but at the $15 grading fee, they're definitely worth sending in. Here's his Crusade. Like I said, for the Giannis, one of my favorite sets. That one got a 10. And then a couple teal parallels. Here is the Luminance Teal. Tyler Hero, PSA 10, again, the foil at the top. Kind of hard to see, but it's nice to get the uh, parallels and tens, especially the rookies. And then here's another cool one. This is his Teal Marquee in a 10. Very cool there. Love when the uh, chrome background is, is that teal color. It looks really, really nice, especially in person. So, um, And then finishing off here, we have a whole stack of, of Jaw and Zion, so kind of saved the best rookies for last year. Here's two of Jaw's uh, number 116, which is the Panini base card. Um, and this one gained some notoriety because of, of the, uh, the rapper in the background. I believe it's Young Dolph who passed away. Um, so this card has kind of gone up a little bit, but we've got two nines on these. But I did send in three of those overall. And one of them came back at 10. So this one's probably the most valuable card in the order, I would think. Um, I'll put the price on the screen, of course, for you guys. But pretty cool card there. I'll throw him in the back. Next up, a little more Ja Morant. We have his playbook. Rookie, again, this is a tough grade with those, those borders in this stock. But that's, this one got a PSA 10. I was pretty happy with that one. Then some more essentials, as you've seen of the other guys. Got three of those. Those all got, or sorry, two PSA 10s, one PSA 9. So two for three on those. Not too shabby. Next up, John ja Morant again. Here is his luminance. Awesome photo on this one. This one got a nine, but I did send in multiple of those. Sent in two, and one of them got a PSA 10. So this is definitely one of my favorite photos overall in the uh, Chronicle set. Uh, John Morant dunking on Kevin Love. I believe he missed that dunk, if I remember correctly, but uh, still a really, really cool photo. So we'll throw that one in the back. Jaw rookie, PSA 10. Great photo there. And then finishing off jaw, we do have some teal parallels. And again, these are kind of sticking together. We have one teal parallel here of jaw. Here's the threads. You can see the teal foil again at the top. And this one got a PSA 10. It's a little more rare, but again, doesn't hold too, too much value between the, uh, the base and the, and the teal parallels, unfortunately. Then finishing off, we got some Zion here, hoping he comes back and starts playing. Um, and playing well, obviously, it'd be very nice. I know a lot of people are counting on that. Here's two of his Threads rookies. These both got nines. Here's his Panini rookie. This one got a 10. Nice one there. Tough grade again with all the black borders, paper stock. Here's his Luminance. And again, Luminance has amazing photos. You can see Zion doesn't have too many cards with awesome photos, but this is definitely one of them. That one got a 10. Was pumped about that one. Uh, a couple of his, or just one of his Prestige, actually. Prestige PSA 10 Zion. Another nice one. Always nice to get PSA 10s of Zion. And a Playbook. PSA 10, another tough grade. Then, a couple of his essentials. This one got a uh, PSA 9 here. Essentials, again, these are not 
not super rare cards. Obviously, they printed a ton of Chronicles, unfortunately, but um, they are still pretty cool. You can get some cool, get some cool subsets in here. So Essentials, like I said before, is one of my favorites. You got two tens in Zion there. And just a few more cards left here. Zion PSA 10. Again, did very, very well with the Zion cards. Here's his XR. That's one of my favorite sets, too. You can see the shine there. It's a uh, football set. And then probably my last favorite card of the order, I guess, since I did say I love the Crusade uh, subset, and, you know, Zion's one of the top rookies. I was very, very happy to see that this one came back a PSA 10. So we'll throw that one in the back as well. And then ending it off here with just three more. Got the Hometown Heroes, another Chrome subset. Pretty cool there, PSA 10 of Zion. And then just two parallels. Unfortunately, both got nines, and I was really, really sad about the next one, but this is the uh, Playbook Teal in a nine. And then I remember pulling this one. I was really, really hoping this would get a 10. I think when I sent it in, I knew it was gonna get a nine. I can't remember. There might have been a uh, a print line or I don't know what it was, but you know, I was holding that hope this one would get a 10. Unfortunately, it came back a nine. So Zion Crusade, PSA nine, and this is the Teal Prism. Looks really, really cool in person. Uh, definitely would have been one I threw in my PC, but um, this will probably end up in my eBay store, so. Uh, that's it for, for this order, guys. Um, again, I'll be back with more PSA submissions as they come in. Uh, we'll be doing more box breaks on the channel, um, you know, every so often to throw in PSA returns and all that good stuff. Um, so if you guys want to like and subscribe, it's greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, besides that, we'll be back with more videos here coming soon. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.